Okay, so here we're going to be talking about the dip switches and what they do on the G13 control board. We'll start off by dip switch number one. Uh, that is basically your limit switch type. Uh, there's two types of limit switches on gate openers. One is a normally open limit switch and the other one is a normally close. Our gate opener, it's set for a limit switch that is normally open so dip switch number one will always be off uh, two three and four are your auto close feature and what that basically does it allows you to set uh, the dip switch to be able to close at a certain um, time so say for example you say for example you press the button on the remote control and uh, the gate opens. Uh, you want to set it to close at a certain time. So what you do is you set your dip switches accordingly. So if you want uh, 12 seconds, you would bring dip switch number two up. If you want uh, 25 seconds, you would set number three. If you want uh, 45 seconds delay, you would set number four. Now you cannot set two at a time, you can only do one. So basically you're only allowed to do 12 seconds, 25 seconds, or 45 seconds. And that's basically how it's set. So let's take, for example, uh, you wanna do dip switch number two, that would be your 12 seconds, right? So what you do is you say you press the button on the remote control. Oh, wait a minute, gotta make sure that Dip switch number seven, and I'll explain what that means in a little bit later. Um, but right now, I am actually opening the gate, and it opened all the way. So now it's going to count 12 seconds, and then eventually it closes, like so. All right, so that's what that does. It allows you to set a predetermined time to close the gate automatically behind you. Um, dip switch number five, that's your uh, directory or direction, I'm sorry, on your gate opener. So if you have a open to the right, you would set your dip switch number five on the off position. If you open to the left, then you would bring dip switch number five on the on position. We'll go ahead and close that. And then six is not used seven and eight are your channels so uh channel uh dip switch number seven is channel one dip switch number eight is channel two on your remote control so when you're looking at your remote control these are your channels uh these are basically um how you are set it so say for example you want uh, uh you want channel number one channel number one to work you would set dip switch number seven, like so. If you want uh, channel number two to work, you would just basically turn that one off and then do channel number two. If you want both of them to work, you would just set both of them to work. And that's how that is done. Okay, I hope that uh, clear out um, some questions regarding your dip switches and how to program them uh, depending on your application. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the in the uh, link in the bottom. If you um, if you like the video, make sure you give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel.